Hello my friends, it is time for that monthly update to just talk about what's going on, see what's in the future, figure out what we've done, all that kind of stuff. It is March 2020, oh crap, what year is it? Two? And the game in the background is Iron Harvest, an incredibly average RTS. So throughout February, we have been running Heart of the Swarm real scale, and it has been absolutely incredible. That just finished up the other day, I had an absolute blast, and unfortunately we're done with it. Wings of Liberty Nightmare Edition has been equally amazing, really really fun to play, a very smooth and enjoyable experience. It also is pretty much done at this point. So here's the first problem. I don't have more custom campaigns right now. Unfortunately, there aren't a whole lot of modders in the StarCraft scene, especially ones that I trust enough to make custom campaigns, which means that this process is kind of slow. I work really hard to get a lot of this stuff out. However, I mean, we go through what, like in two months, three custom campaigns that we've made, and it takes a long time to make these things. Unfortunately, modders have like other projects that they want to work on, a real life, they have to go to university, all that kind of stuff. I know, it's lame. But it is how it is, so unfortunately, we're a little bit stuck right now. But there is an upside. There is an absolutely stunning looking campaign, UED First Light, and it is coming out this Friday. I am really, really, really excited to play it. I didn't have any hand in its development or anything. It is completely community made, and I, oh, it just looks great. So we're absolutely going to be starting a playthrough of that on Friday. However, if you are, you know, magician at math or something like that, you might tell that this is Monday and Friday's on Friday. Um, does anyone have any ideas on something that I could do for a couple of days? I don't, I don't, I can't like just start a really big challenge run or something, right? I, I, I want to put something out, but I don't, I have no idea what to do. So I am here saying, hello. Do you have an idea of a video game thing that I could play that'd be really fun? Please put it in the comments if it's interesting and I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I know this is incredibly professional. What a great update this is. We do have another custom campaign in development though, and it, well, at least from what I've been told, it sounds like it's going to be absolutely amazing. A while ago, I mentioned Legacy of the Meme, where we got the Giant Grand Games community to come together and make up designs for all of the Legacy of the Void units, just complete meme designs for them. And I have Ace, Finlay, and Orca Warrior working on that project, and I know basically nothing about it except for the fact that all the polling is done, people have come up with ideas for every single unit. Apparently they had to spend like 12 hours going through submissions because there were thousands of them total. But after the finalists were voted on, it should be in production very soon. And theoretically that style of mod is going to be a lot less time intensive to make because it doesn't involve editing the maps at all. It's just the unit editor. So once that's ready, I'm going to absolutely blast off on it and have a really good time with it. Once that starts, it means we will have two series running once again. I have been running two series once every 12 hours for basically this entire year so far. And honestly, it's been incredibly successful. I've been really, really happy with it for the most part. The whole thing is part of a larger shift in my content away from Twitch and more towards YouTube because I feel like the VOD format suits my style better. I am not very good at that long streaming thing, and if you're going to be on Twitch, you do have to stream for 5, 6, 7, 8 hours a day, otherwise you're just not going to be able to compete with the other people, and that, well, it absolutely kills me. I much personally prefer to be very, very, like, into it, engaged, and energized for the entire time, and you just can't do that if you're running a 10-hour stream. <laughs> and I'm a lot more happy with the content I've been creating, and I hope that you guys have been liking it a lot more too. What that means is that the archives is really the focus of the daily stuff from now on, and then Twitch is more just like a hangout location, which I think that's what Twitch is trying to posture itself as anyways. It used to be all about that elite hardcore gaming, but I'm pretty sure that's just not what they want anymore, and I guess I can kind of understand it. It's a bit weird. By the way, I don't have a script at all for this video. I have three bullet points on a notepad file that I accidentally minimized, so we're going to be rambling a little bit. So yeah, after things get running again, we're going to have the UED custom campaign going for a bit, then we'll have Legacy of the Meme, and after Legacy of the Meme, I am going to try the, well, this one, so I actually have to space these out a little bit, and it's for title confusion, because I actually have multiple things that I could be running right now, with UED First Light and the UED AIP, but they're both UED in the name, and I don't want to do it at the same time because people will get confused and I don't want to spend a month or I don't want to spend a month explaining it. So UED AIP is what Nightmare difficulty is, but for StarCraft 1. It was made by a group of modders and it goes in and it like completely rewrites the AI to be 
incredibly impressive and dynamic, but not, from what I understand, not cheating. It's just like good, good quality AI that is much, much harder as a result. So that is actually going to be my first kind of venture into quote unquote challenge running for StarCraft 1. Not Mass Recall, not anything like that, but the solid, brutal standards that were set by the original StarCraft 1, like 12 hockeys, all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually really looking forward to it. But I just can't run it at the same time as the UED First Light campaign that is coming out really soon. So that's kind of what's going to be going on on the Archives channel. Now let's talk about the main channel for a little bit. The last video released was the real scale video, and people seemed to like that video quite a bit. I think it was a lot of fun to make just going over the stuff we did, reliving the good times, and I think that it brought a lot of people over here to experience the joy of Heart of the Swarm real scale. The next video is a little bit different. If you remember, I was taking a lot of polling data about a month and some change ago, and we have almost 10,000 responses. What I'm doing is bringing my own personal opinion, my experience, and those responses together to make a video called The Next Major RTS Release Is Going to Fail. Here's why. It's going to be a half technical in-depth look and half opinion piece about why modern RTS that keep coming out keep failing. Because I genuinely don't believe that it is the market's problem. I don't believe that there's not a big enough user base, and I have the numbers to back that up. I have proof. What I believe is that it is the developers who are missing the mark. They do not quite understand what they are making. They are continuously making the same mistakes. So we're going to go over what are those mistakes, why do they keep making them, and how do they stop making them so that they can create a successful RTS product that will work for the modern player base. And then I don't know what video is going to come after that. I'm like really bad at planning all of this stuff and I don't really know what I'm doing. I have a like two or three video ideas, but I'm not entirely sure if any of them are good. So we'll figure that out when we get to it. So about all those custom campaigns we've made, Wings Liberty Real Scale, Wings of Liberty Nightmare, Mindhawk's Challenge Gauntlet, Real Scale Heart of the Swarm, Wings of Liberty Randomizer, Heart of the Swarm Randomizer, when are you going to get to play them? When is the custom campaign manager going to release? The answer is stay tuned tomorrow, 24 hours from now. Easy peasy. All that stuff's going to be ready. Uh, the Wings of Liberty randomizer might not be ready. However, everything else is going to be ready for you guys. We're doing kind of a three scale release thing, so I'm not releasing it to the major, major public, just to you guys who are a little bit more special, because we do want to properly test the distribution network and make sure that everything is working properly. No bugs that are like going to break everything, all that kind of stuff. I think that's everything. So thank you guys for just all of your kind and incredible support. It's been a really, really wonderful first couple months of 2022. We've done so much cool stuff. We've built up so much. Between Mindhawk's Challenge Gauntlet and Nightmare Edition and Real Scale Heart of the Swarm, I just, we made, it was incredible. It was so awesome. And I do want to give Mindhawk, Orca Warrior, and Rhyme special thanks for the huge amount of effort that it put into all this. Like, obviously I pay them, but that doesn't mean that giving thanks is not necessary or required because... They absolutely went above and beyond the Call of Duty in all of these. I have been so incredibly impressed by everything that they have made in the last couple months. And I think things might quiet down for just a couple weeks or so as we get the next little round of stuff ready. And then we're going to be able to go all out and make some really cool things again. I wanted to say thank you for watching me do all of this dumb stuff and being so supportive during the process. I'm really trying my best to give back to the incredibly kind and generous community that's given so much to me. And I'm really excited for tomorrow where I can finally share these mods with you guys because I think that's the most important part of it. Until then, I hope you have an absolutely amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.